On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twins, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see his hands, the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. So Christ is risen. The experience that I spoke of and that then we were all able to partake of, the hearing of the gospel reading today in as many languages as possible, even the church making an exception, as I said, to allow lay people to read the gospel in the context of a liturgical service, shows our not only affinity, but our marriage to the gospel message itself. You see, Jesus... 40 days after his resurrection, ascends to heaven. We're going to celebrate it in just over a month. And as Jesus is ascending to heaven, he tells his disciples, now turned apostles, what their job is. He tells them the mission of the church. And he says to them that what they are to do is to go out to all nations and teach them what he taught them. He says, go to all nations and preach the gospel and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both mean that the church is supposed to grow. It's never meant to be comfortable. It's never meant to be insulated. The church is never meant to be hoarded. The moment that we start thinking that way, we're just simply not Christians. We're definitely not Orthodox Christians. The church is supposed to grow in the message. Jesus Christ, who is the message, who is the Word, is supposed to be spread across the entire globe. And the very nature and experience of the Agape service that we celebrate on Pascha itself provides for us motivation and a compass to be able to do that. The gospel, Christianity, is not meant to be insulated or hoarded, as I said, but spread. Now, each and every one of us have a role to play in that. Of course, the church has a role to play in that. We're supposed to be out there proclaiming the good news and teaching it to all kinds of new people that have never heard it before. But all of you, and myself included, because I live here in Cinco Ranch, every single one of us have the responsibility to take our Christianity, to take the pilgrimage of faith that each and every one of us are called to live and to express it in a teaching way. We're called to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ by living the gospel. And it will begin in our own households. Spouse to spouse. Parents to children. And then it will start to spread to our neighbors. And then it's going to start to spread to that person that you bump into at HEB. And after that, it's going to be the person that's filling up their gas tank at the pump next to you. And then after that, it's going to be the person that you see at the Astros game. And after that, it's going to be the person that works next to you, the next cubicle or the next office over. And so on and so forth. And the spread of Christianity will take place because you and I take serious 
what Jesus Christ told us to do. So take the good news, take the message of the Lord's resurrection, and don't have it be an insulated or a hoarded celebration only in your mind or heart or in your household or amongst your own people, but allow that excitement to be fuel for you to go out and to proclaim Christianity by virtue of your lifestyle and spread the good news. There is no greater commission that any one of us could have ever received. There is no lifestyle that is more true. And there is no greater reward than what waits for those who actually live their Christianity. I pray that the grace of God, which always is everything that we need, is received by all of us as such, and that we take it and the excitement from this year's Pascha, and we transform our households, our neighborhoods, our stores, our workplaces, our world, with the love of Jesus Christ. Christos Aneste. Christ is risen. Go about your day in peace. God be with you all.